For nearly 30 years, Samsung and Harman have been the key partners for the BMW Group. And this year, at the CS 2020 in Las Vegas, they have announced their partnership again for another future topic that will be the most important race in the car industry. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and in today's episode of The Truth About, we will take a closer look behind the scenes of why a company like Samsung partners up with BMW for revolutionizing the future of driving. For seven years, the BMW i3 has played the role of an iconic ambassador for electric driving pleasure, sustainability and intelligent connectivity in urban areas. These qualities have helped to make it the world's best-selling electric car in the premium compact segment. And now, the BMW Group has brought the BMW i3 Urban Suite to this year's CES in Las Vegas to reveal a mobility experience tailored entirely to the passenger's individual needs. But there was something else at the show which got the most headlines, and this is called the BMW i Interaction Ease. While most of the media wanted you to believe that this is a real car, it's actually more of a concept on how the future could look like. But this design will never make it into a real car, at least from the outside. Even in the future, look how many troubles even Tesla has with getting their Cybertruck approved, and it looks more like a car than this rolling sofa. However, it showcases a lot of technology that will definitely make it into our future cars. And let's be honest guys, a car nowadays is a rolling computer, and not the company with the strongest engine will win the race of the future. It will be the company with the most advanced technology. So basically, it showcases how we will control our car in the future. BMW has already voice control in the latest cars, but they want to go one step further, and this is called eye tracking. The entire windshield becomes a huge head-up display on which new information can be placed layer by layer and you have multiple ways to control the screen. I tried it and it's kinda amazing because you don't need to move your head. All you have to do is look at something you want to select. Also the whole seat has a touch sensitive area and you will be able to use hand gestures to tell the car what you want. It's an amazing concept but still far away from reality. However, to achieve this in the future, BMW needs a strong partner, and this is obviously Samsung. So let's take a journey back to the CS 2014, and I still remember when they proudly introduced the Samsung Galaxy Gear as a remote for the i3 series. And now, six years later, we're talking about 5G, autonomous driving, and even controlling your car with your eyes. But why do they need Samsung? Well, as said before, BMW and Samsung have been partners for many, many years and Samsung is one of the leading companies in the 5G department. Maybe not that advanced as Huawei, but BMW already had a very successful partnership with Samsung, so why change the partner? And one of the core enabling technologies of autonomous driving is 5G. 5G's low latency, massive density, device awareness and super fast download speeds enable new capabilities and experiences critical for autonomous driving systems of this decade. And BMW's goal is to have the first 5G ready autonomous vehicle on the market. In 2021, BMW launched the BMW iNext, the world's first car with Samsung's 5G technology. And they look forward to spreading this over the whole portfolio. And this is where Samsung comes in. A company that was only founded in 1969, strictly powerful and influential. The company accounts for around 25% of South Korea's economic output today. That's crazy. The company is more than TVs, galaxies and smartphones. These are also chemical divisions, large buildings, ships, financial services. A really huge company with over 30 subsidiaries and around half a million employees who has also been making car batteries for a few years. Last year alone, the company invested $16 billion in future technologies. A small part of it went also in the business with lithium-ion batteries for electric cars. And yes, BMW and probably also a lot of other car manufacturers are buying batteries from them. But more important, the 5G chips for the iNext will be delivered by Samsung. Only with the 5G mobile radio standard, the cars can be networked with other road users and the infrastructure virtually in real time. It's 10 times faster than with today's 4G standard. And what takes 10 milliseconds in 5G network will only take around 1 millisecond with 5G. In addition, the 5G network can accept many more devices, including cars at the same time. 
and in the inner cities of London or New York, the 4G network can throw you out, and that will be a really worst case scenario for level 5 autonomy. However, a functioning 5G network can handle 1 million mobile devices per square kilometer, so fully autonomous drivers only have to fear the power failure. So within one year from now we'll have level 3 autonomous vehicles by BMW. That means the driver can release himself from driving the car for a longer period of time and may also let go of the steering wheel, but must be able to take it back within seconds if requested. Checking emails while driving is okay, but not sleeping. And at the CS I took a ride in an active autonomous car and it worked already incredibly good. But I did run into the situation where the person behind the wheel had to get back to the wheel because a road sign was detected as an obstacle and that means it supports you but you need to be always ready to take over control. But the actual goal is level 5 where we don't even have pedals like in BMW's concept car. This will take many years but with the help of Samsung it may be possible. Samsung was number one in global 5G smartphone sales with 6.7 million Galaxy 5G devices in 2019. That's a crazy number if I imagine that 5G isn't even ready yet in my home country Austria. Maybe you know that Samsung has acquired Harman some time ago and Harman is really big in automotive. Now Samsung Electronics recently showcased the 5G based telematics control unit also called TCU which co-developed the 5G enabled TCU with its affiliate Harman. The TCU is a primary component that collects and provides data that the drivers and passengers can readily use, allowing for 5G based services such as real-time maps, video conferencing, game streaming and advanced vehicle to vehicle safety systems. The digital cockpit lets users enjoy various infotainment systems with its 8 displays and 8 cameras. The platform operates on Google's Android operating system, developed for vehicles. But it also uses an artificial intelligent AI assistant, Bixby, and Samsung's Internet of Things IoT platform, SmartThings. Also in April last year, Harman announced that they would supply digital cockpits to the China-based electric vehicle manufacturer, Beijing Electric Vehicle. So Samsung is years ahead of the car manufacturers in terms of software, AI and telecommunications. So in the future we'll also see other brands partnering up with bigger telecommunications companies and it's no surprise that also Sony showed an electric car concept at this CES. So are you guys ready to pick a Samsung, Sony or maybe Huawei powered car in the future? I think it's a bit scary to have all this technology and especially tracking inside of your car and sending your data to the cloud and being processed by some AI? Well, that sounds kind of weird, but that is where they want us to go. Now let me know what you think, if that's good or bad, and I'm waiting for your comments. So I really hope that you guys like this episode of The Truth About, and if you want to see more, please like, subscribe, and share. And as always guys, I'm Steven from Tech Magnet, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.